Puebla. After our defeat on Ixta, we took the day off and explored a new city full of history and culture. We ate delicious food and slept in a real bed. However, it's only one quick day of rest because we had our eyes set on an even bigger goal, Pico de Orizaba. We left Pueblo and headed to a small climber's hostel. It's run by Senor Reyes, and it's the perfect spot for any mountaineer to get ready for the peak ahead. He gave us a quick tour of his old soap factory before we piled it into the back of a truck and started our two hour ride to base camp. This road was by far the worst road we've encountered in Mexico. Base camp consists of a small climber's hut and a few sites for tents. We had chicken tacos, which apparently is the second best chicken in the world. Our guides worked hard to make sure we had this chicken from a nearby town. With a full stomach, we popped in our earplugs and got ready for the night ahead. Thunder and lightning crashed down above us, but when we woke up, we realized that Orizaba has granted us permission to climb. There is a fresh blanket of snow on the ground. This means that the glacier will be climbable. Up until today, it's been a very dry season, and there's been multiple fatalities on this glacier. Once on the glacier, we roped up and pushed our way to the summit. When you're climbing, everything seems so much closer than it actually is. It looks like it's right there, but in reality, you're still hours away. Our team stayed strong, and we all pushed and made it to Orizaba's crater. It's an amazing view from up here. Four of us broke off from the group with our eyes set on the highest point on Orizaba. This 15 minute hike around the rim felt like hours. Our feet felt like cinder blocks. The freezing wind blew strong and we stumbled at the high altitude. The air is so thin up here at 18,000 feet. Each step is harder than the last, but we don't stop. We keep pushing. Nothing is gonna hold us back now. There's only a few steps between us and the summit. So why do we climb mountains? You cannot stay on the summit forever. You have to come down again. So why bother in the first place? What is above knows what is below, but what is below does not know what is above. One climbs, one sees. One descends, one sees no longer, but one has seen. There is an art of conducting oneself in the lower regions by the memory of what one saw higher up. When one can no longer see, one can at least still know.